Hey, what's going on, y'all? We are back again on Destiny. I know it's been a minute, but what I tell you guys, we're going to be doing some Destiny content. And we're going to first start off with Prismatic. We're going to be looking for the rest of our fragments. Now, you get some of the fragments during the story missions, but the other ones will come from out in the world. So let's go out there and find them. Okay, so first off, for the fragments that are in story missions, if you're wondering, I already did the story. I don't know how to how do i go back and you'll click here and you're like i can't do this this is for other things this is for higher challenging things if you want to do the story and specifically pick where you want to go again for a fragment you just go to here you can either go normal or can't legendary but just do normal because we're just doing for fragments and then when you click right here you'll be able to see you can select which one you want to do to be able to get back and do that fragment okay so for the fast for the facet of bravery you want to make sure you load up the ascent story because this is in the story mode and when you kind of get towards the mountainside here and you see this little thing right here on the mountain right here you're gonna see this here when you see that you know you're around what you want to do is you want to come over to this corner here and you want to look right down here i'm down here and then you see the chest the chest is right here i'm here claim your Prismatic reward, boom, master of bravery. Here we go. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so after you defeat the Hive Knight on Descent, and it's gonna be a part where you have to run from the Shrieker. Um, once you do that, as you're running, you're gonna run up these stairs right here, as you see in the video here of me doing it. You're gonna be going up here, and you wanna make sure you hug to the left side. There's gonna be enemies trying to get you, hug to the left side, and you're gonna run right into the fragment box that you got right here and this will be where the facet of devotion is during the descent mission when you save Devala. all right on to the next one all right so for this next story mission one this one's going to be located into in the uh final mission in the ikino ikino clasm so this is the where this uh faucet of sacrifice will be held so make sure you boot that up Okay, so once after you get through quite a bit of the mission and the iconoclasm, you have to journey to the Sacrium, Sacrarium. And when you get to this point here, when you can see this open area here, you want to go this way and you want to get into the room here where you see the looks like the chopped up really war beast here. Like once you get to the chopped up war beast, you want to take a left. We're going to go this way. Now, you'll see right here, this little lit up thing right here. We're going to be going in there. So jump up here and then you jump to get in here and then you crouch. You're going to be going down this way. Keep crouching and then right behind here, you'll see prismatic reward. Boom, and that's the facet of sacrifice. It takes a bit of time. You have to go through quite a bit of that story, but once you get to that part, you're almost there. All right. Okay. So now we're going to be heading towards to get the facet of command fragment. This one is found in the impasse at the pale heart. So you just come here at the impasse. You're going to spawn right here and we're going to go backtrack towards this way here where the cars are. Okay, so when you come right here, you're going to notice that there's a big block of ice here. Keep that in mind. Remember where this is. Okay, we're just going to keep going. Again, you see more right here. Keep going. And then you're gonna see more right here. And once you clear out this room, once you come out after you get the shrinker here, you're gonna come over to the side and you can see that the chest, the prismatic chest is here, but it says we require a divided prismatic key. So this one requires a little puzzle. So how to do this one is from the chest, you're gonna turn right. You're gonna come over here and you're gonna see these openings in here. You can jump into these openings through here. And what you have to do, there's going to be these machines here. So what we're trying to do is we're going to need to get charges. 
and we want to make sure we put 10 charges in each of the things now each charge is a number so when you find an arc charge it's going to be two when you find a solar charge it's going to be three and when you're trying to when you find a void charge it's going to be four so the whole point is we're trying to get 10 in there and 10 in here no less no more if you do less it's not going to work if you do more and overcharge it too much it's not going to work as well so it requires a little math but for those who don't want to do math just follow what what i do okay so we're going to go here to the transmat scorch cannon here so i have help here i have lady b helping me here she's going to pick up the charges for us but if you are alone it doesn't matter because you're like how do i do this and pick up the charges you can always come back here and get another scorch cannon if you are by yourself okay so we're going to go ahead and break this first one here and that's going to be an arc an arc charge so we're going to do this right one first here let me break both of them and lady b is going to put a charge in this one well because we put an arc charge in that one that one's two so we want to get that to 10. So that means what we're going to do is we're going to put two void charges in that one because that'll equal eight plus the arc charge is 10. So that's how we're going to do that side. All right. So to find this one, so we're going to go back out here and we're going to get this one here. And this is the void charge that you go. She's going to jump back in there and she's going to deposit it on the right side. Okay, and then, so then after that, we wanna come from the chest and we're gonna go down this way from the chest. So we see this right here. You wanna come down this way and you wanna take your first right here. And you wanna come over here and you wanna jump this over here. And there's going to be another up here, which will make it another charge. And I believe it's another void charge. Yes. So we have the, this, the last void charge right here. So we're going to come back over. Here. And she's going to be going to come back through the hole here. And she's going to deposit it, the last one into here. Uh, before she deposits, you can see here. This is how you can tell how much charge you have in something. Just in case you forget. You, it does tell you how much you have charge in here. So she's gonna deposit that in there and boom, we have the first one charged that you see it says system at maximum power on the left side. That's how you know you did it right. Now we'll do the same for the second side. So we're gonna go back through here, go back this way towards the prismatic chest and it's gonna be one straight down. Now, like I said, if you're not doing it my way, you can just come through this one first and do your own kind of math if you want to like, you know, split it up. But if you're following, then just do it this way here. There's going to be here, this one here, and that's going to be a solo charge. So we're just going to go ahead and get that. I'm going to come back and we're going to deposit the first solo charge in the second one. And remember the solo charge equals three. So it's going to put in three. All right, go back through here gonna jump through one of there I'm gonna deposit it there yep and you see how it went up to three all right so now we're gonna go here we're gonna now we're gonna go when we come out we're gonna go the opposite side of the chest this one right here I'm gonna just go ahead and blow that one and that one's an arc charge that one's going to make it five gonna go back now she's gonna keep the positive into the left side now <laughs> it's all right boom there we go so we got that one there so now we have five we're gonna keep backtracking now Remember those two I told you before? So that was the first one here. We're gonna head our way back towards the other one. But once we get into this room here, it's gonna be kind of like it. So this is like the hot side and this is like the cold side. You wanna go left to the cold side here, all the way in the left side here. In the back of this room, here's the other charge right here. And this is gonna be the second solar one. And that'll make it three. 
and we're going to take a right here. We're going to go back towards this way. And then we, yep. Then we're going to take a left. Go back to here. Go back to the. And let's put back in there. Pause it. All right. There we go. So now we have we have eight. So now the last one, of course, is going to be an arc charge, which is going to be backtracked all the way, which I'll just get that one so she doesn't have to come all the way back. So we're just going to go straight through here that we won't need this scorch cannon anymore. So we're going to go all the way back to the end, to the beginning part here. Remember, coming back this way. We first seen it and boom right here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pick up the chart which is the arc charge and remember the arc charge gives us two which we have eight in there right now which will make it 10. so like i said you can do it you know you can do it however you just need to you just need to get 10 on each side it doesn't matter how you do it you just need to make sure you do some math to get 10 or just follow the video okay so we're gonna go through here now for the last one And there, off this last one. Boom. Now it says you will drown in the deep, and it's going to be enemies that come out that we have to defeat. Good old husk that we love. And of course, got some attend attendance, and then it's going to come out. Big guy's going to come out soon. Or kill this guy. Get rid of him. Once all the eyes are dead, he's going to drop right here. This right here, the divided prismatic key. Once that happens, come over here, claim your prismatic reward, and then you have it. The fastest of command. So this one in involves a little puzzle, a little bit of mass, and some fighting of a subject gator. So good luck, guys. On to the next one. Okay, so once again, you want to come back to the impasse here at the pale heart. And then instead of, instead of going this way, like we did for the last one, we're going to go this way now. And we're going to be heading towards the door over here. Let's get, let's go over here. This one is for the facet of defiance. All the way over here. Okay. okay, so we this is where you want to be at the transgression right here. It's going to open up into a big area. So once you get to this big area here, you want to make sure you hover left. What we're trying to do is you're trying to go continue to go straight into this cave over here. Got little enemies out here. Them going. You want to enter this way here. Okay. So when you get right here up on this hill here. You're going to go to the left here. And you want to make sure you stay left until you see this little opening with this little pink crystal here. Once you see this pink crystal, you're going to come across a seed. And this is where the this is where the, where the fragment will be in. So we want to go in here and we're shielded for 30 seconds. So, you know, you want to make sure you think he's going to be fighting a bunch of enemies in here, I believe. And we're supposed to fight enemies until we see a tormentor. Let's go to the chest first. As you can see here, the chest is right here. And the season needs a transgressive prismatic. So we want to go now and get our shields back up real quick. Yeah. Right then we want to how to start it as you come right here. Activate it. It's going to be a bunch of enemies that we have to fight. 
while we while you continue to keep getting your shield up so when you see these guys with shields you want to hit these eyes of suffering blights that are up there and it's going to be three of them that breaks their shields and you can be able to kill them once those guys are down we hit a torment to spawn you have to be in your transcendence to get them so there's going to be one back here for you to get it but i need to go get recharged go back here real quick get a quick recharge this tormentor here I'm gonna get his shoulders down Go back and, get him. and once you kill him you don't have to worry about healing yourself anymore here he goes he drops he drops the transgressive prismatic key then you go over here Bada bang, bada boom, claim your prismatic reward, and that's the facet of defiant. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so for the next one, we're gonna be doing the facet of grace. So for this one, you wanna make sure you spawn here at the lost city. Once you're here at the lost city, you're gonna be facing this way, and you wanna just head past these two cabal guys right here, and go down and follow this path. Once you get here, you got enemies here, you want to make sure you take a right once you get to this part here. And we are going over this way. I'm gonna make sure you get over here. Okay. Once you get right here, you're gonna hug the left side here. You're gonna go left. And then once you get right here, between these two here, you turn right here and you'll see the chest is in here. Obviously, we can't get that. Requires elevated prismatic. Boss to spawn up. Enemies, I mean, to the enemies. You wanna kill this right here, this Gordon Weaver. All right, once we kill that, you see on the left side, it says first omen defeated. So what we have to do is we have to kill two more of these omens. But so we wanna go here. We're gonna take a right and we're gonna backtrack. You want to go on both sides and what we're doing is we're you're looking for you're looking for omens that have it'll be like these little they'll be the little dread birds and go over here in this corner here then you see if you find the grims here that means you know you're in the right track. Okay, and then you want to go back here. And there should be another one back there, as you can see. You see him right here. On the high. here all right as you can see on my left screen it says second omen defeated so we need one more so the whole point is we're trying to get three omens defeated so that way we can be able to spawn another tormentor and you will need your prismatic board transcendence I believe it's gonna be back over this way. That was the far left side. Oh, and then you see if you turn here, you'll see right there, that's where the next one is. So we're gonna go over here. We wanna make sure you go on the left platform. You can see the grim birds. said if you get lost just keep looking around the area until you find grim birds and that's how you know you're in the right area all right gordon weaver is 
down. Now it says third omen defeated. You hear that sound. That means tormentor's up. We want to head back over now. This way. And the tormentor is going to be right there with his thing. Got to kill all these enemies to get the shield off of them. Once he's dead, nice, nice. Come here. He will drop it, so we'll be able to use it now. He drops the thing to activate that key. Now we go back all the way over here to the chest. here to this side here now you can claim your prismatic reward there it is the facet of grace all right on to the next one okay so for the next one which will be the facet of mending you want to make sure you come back to the lost city again and then you want to go straight down this way here so we're gonna go past these guys just like we did on the last one it's the king on his pass Stay straight on this path right here. I'm out. You're making your way back to the outskirts. I like the beginning. All right. So once we hit here, the lost city of outskirts, we're going to come down here. We're going to take a right. Now, once you get to this part right here, you want to stop real quick because the whole point of getting the facet of mending is we're going to have to be able to find four wounded ghosts and those once we find those four wounded ghosts it's going to trigger an event and then we go to that event to continue so the first wounded ghost if you are lost say you get here you don't know what i am if you come when you see this door here come to the left if you come right here you see right up there there is a wounded ghost your ghost will also look at it and track it for you if you do get lost. Just come up here on the sign, investigate it. And once you see on the left side, it says a lost ghost has been found. So once you, once you do that, you're gonna come through this door here and you're gonna go straight out. That is the first ghost. Kill these enemies here. What we're gonna be doing is going straight across. We wanna kind of get this thing to open. They don't mess with us. Okay, so once you get here, you're gonna see the stairs here. You wanna jump over, go down the stairs here. And when while you're at the stairs, you wanna turn to the right here, and the second ghost to investigate will be right here. And you do that until it says, like you say on the thing, another lost ghost has been found. So now we're going to continue forward. And you are way this way here. Go down. Right here. And just as you're about to come out, you'll see the beginning kind of where we started. You want to turn around at this doorway and jump up here and you can see up here the third ghost okay another lost ghost has been found then you just want to continue to the right here it's gonna be ads and stuff you need to fight enemies continue the path down this way killing the enemies by you Once you get right here, 
No, let's get the shrieker out the way. So these guys here. Once you turn around here, you're going to see this big orange thing here. You pop your ghost up, you'll see that's going to highlight it right there. So that means you, what you do, you get this guy shooting me. You want to jump up here. And this is where the fourth ghost is. scanning right now final lost ghost has been found and then we just want to keep going this way because now the event should be started you can see on your map a little bit to my left there on my screen when i when i go like this on my on my ghost or when i point and shoot you'll see four things right here so you just want to follow that and you'll see that it started some kind of event here And you can see the chest is here. It requires overgrown prismatic. You'll see the four ghosts that we that we helped wounded, they, um, investigated. We want to stand on this plate now, and we just want to stand on this plate and kill enemies while you're on the plate. I don't know if progress is for killing enemies or is just standing on the plate. I'm not sure, but either way, just stand on the plate. And we're standing on the plate until I believe a, I don't know if it's a tormentor or a subjugator. I'm not sure. This is our first time doing this. These guys kind of push you off. There you go. It is a harbinger. Now that we get that, we can get off the plate. And now we just defeat the harbinger. Boom. Once that's done, you can see here, we drop the key. Pick up the overgrown prismatic key. I'm over. And you can claim your reward. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so for the next one, you want to make sure you go to the landing zone. And this is for the facet of justice. So once you hit the landing zone, we're going to be going straight here. You want to make sure you stay on the left side here. We're going to go straight this way. Okay, once you get to this big crystal thing here, you're you're still going the right way. You wanna go in here. And then you wanna still keep hugging left. And once you get to this room here, you're gonna see this little gap right here. Jump over the gap, and you'll see a room right here. You can already see from here, the chest. All right, come up in here. And obviously we need a refracting prismatic key. You're gonna see these symbols up in here for this chest. So this is going to be a memory game. So what's gonna happen is we have to memorize these three symbols in this order. You gotta remember these in this order. We're gonna take this crystal here and we're gonna deposit in these things behind here. The crystals will show in this room. The only flaw is we cannot be able to step back down here or it's going to reset it. So let's see, we gotta remember here. So we got, we'll call this one uh, man with arms, spider, table. So man, spider, table, all right? So man, spider, table. So we go here, once I pick up this crystal, there will be some ads that's coming. Lady B will take care of that for me. So if you see on the left side of my screen here, I'm looking at the symbols there. You see how it says it, we have the man that's right there on the first one. And then the second one are two symbols we don't have. If I look to the right here, the other ones are here. You just wanna make sure that you do not fall down. So right, the first one's going to be the man. We're gonna come here 
and it's going to be not this one it's going to be the second one here we deposit once you do that you see on the left side it draws closer that's how you know you're doing it right you'll come back another crystal will spawn remember it was man if you're by yourself solo you can just hit the, hit them with the crystals so we had man spider right right there so spider looks like it's what one two three on my screen so we can also come here to kind of take a peek so this is one this one right here is two and i believe this was right here was spider at three here all right got it right it says it draws closer then you want to go here pick up the next one more ads will try to come just hit them with that and we want i believe i come here looks like table is all the way at the end on the right side Once we get that here, we're going to go, you want to deposit it all the way at the end. Now, I'm not sure if these change. So if it doesn't change, just follow the same ones I've did. If it does change, just memorize what you can to be able to deposit. Once we deposit, it says it is here. So that means we complete it. And now we kill a bunch of ads. What we're going to be doing is we're killing ads until we receive two subjugators that come. We kill those subjugators and they give you the key. And if you don't have, if you're not using prismatic, the prismatic thing is right down here. But you will need for the two subject cables. Kill both of them. Once you kill both of them, they will drop a key right here. Pick it up. And then, voila. Your facet of justice. All right. On to the next one. All right. So before we start with the last five facets, you're going to have to make sure you do the Micah quest. And doing that is you got to go to Micah's thing here. She's going to give you a quest here or whatever. And it's going to be up here. It's going to be final days or whatever. It's going to be called alone in the dark. And what you want to do is you want to continue to continue on the alone in the dark story and and do them at least do three of them. And what I mean by that is you want to open up these right here these cyst areas so we got a cyst here and then pass you have a cyst here in the um in this area here in the blooming and then you're gonna have another cyst over here i guess it's pretty much saying the landing even though these two are kind of together but you want to open up these right here and what these will do is make it so you get these lights you want to get these right here the memory vestige lights and you need to get five of those to be able to get a more powerful uh, legendary light one. And what's that going to do is that's going to allow you to be able to open up the chest. So you definitely want to get through Micah's story first before you do these five. All right, let's go for these. OK, so now that we've got that done for these next couple of um, fragments, they're going to require you doing things in the world. So you're going to see these chests here that have like these like corruption on it and you have to do like these little mini games to be able to open them and once you open them you're gonna get these things right here called memory vestige of darkness and there's also gonna be ones called memory vestige of light i believe so um once you get five of each um they're going to reveal the facet of solitude for one and then the next one's going to reveal the facet of solitude of honor for the other one um, so I'm not too sure if darkness does solitude and light does honor, but we will be doing it here and I'll just guide, I'll let you guys know. So go around, find these missions until you get five darkness and then until you get five light. And then once I get that, I'll show you what happens. Okay. So after we, uh, we went out and I ended up getting the five, uh, darkness fragments. It turns into this right here, which is called memory of device of darkness. And once you get that, you'll see here, it shows you the waypoint to it. You just the waypoint to it and go to it. So it's going to be around the divide. 
So when you come here, you go through the, you got to go through the blooming. You got to go through all the snow, climb all the way up here and all the way up to the tippity top here is where the fragment's going to be. And when you come to this area right here, you're going to go right here and you're going to stay to the right. And right down there, you'll see the fragment. Press for it. And you can claim your prismatic reward. And there it is, the facets of honor. So that's how you get that one. So the honor one is for the darkness. And so now we have to go around and try to get the light fragment so we can be able to get the facet of solitude. So once we get that, I'll show you exactly what that is. All right, so after we did the thing again, we got a mission. So let me show you guys real fast. We got a mission on our map to go here to memory and passive darkness. So that was after we got it another five uh, crystals. So we're going to go ahead and see what this one's all about. So we're this is going to be new. We don't know what's going on. I don't really know, but Apparently these are supposed to be for fragments. So maybe there is no light one. Maybe it's just always dark crystals that lead to a memory. So uh, it's saying it was over here somewhere. Uh, let's, let's see. Maybe we got to look for it down here. Oh, I see it right down here. Yeah, there we go. Plain prismatic reward. And that is for the faucet of solitude. Okay, so to reiterate now, so we got the faucet of solitude and we have the faucet of honor. Both of them required you to go around the world and, and find and find and dispel chest. Once you find and dispel chest, you would get memory vestige of darknesses. So there was no light. Once you got the first five, it took you to the first mission to get the facet of solitude which we showed in the last video when the last one and then now we got a second second set of five that took us here to get the facet of of uh wait wait which one was this one honor no this one was solitude the last one before was honor my bad guys so that is how you get the facet of solitude and a facet of honor i hope that makes sense to you guys if it doesn't let me know in the comments and let's get right to the last three. Okay, so after we finished doing one of the missions for, um, was it Micah? He, um, it was the green, the greenery mission where we had to use swords to kill all of these, um, these enemies, these hive enemies. And uh, once that was done, we got, we were getting stuff called light. We were getting light motes, memory of lights. And then we got, we ended up getting five from doing this mission. So now we gave us a refraction of the light. So let's go find out what that is. It's telling us it's this way. So we are at Icora's ship now. Some of these enemies down. And okay, so that's our core ship here. Whoa. Alright. That's a landmark, and it's saying it's there. When I get close, it goes away. So that means around here. So it might be up. up here and there it is the prismatic reward all right so claim this real quick and this is the facet of awakening that's where it is so in order to get the facet of awakening you have to do micah's mission to be able to do the, after the greenery mission, which will give you the light motes. Once you complete the light motes, you come here, it'll do backtrack, come to Icora's ship right here, and then you'll go up that tree and you'll see the facet of Ani. 
awakening sorry and that is located right here in this area so we did all that we got the next memory light of blooming of light now we're gonna head over here this fragment Right where Lady B is. Well, a little bit with that. You're gonna come right here, and there's the chest right there. So it's underneath this tree around the corner. The chest. So if you need a place to go, it's going to be at the blooming. And we are right here. You'll get this big thing here once you complete that. Go here. Claim prismatic reward. And boom facet of generosity all right let's go get our last one all right everyone so we have the seclusions of light so we did the final one and this one's going to be for the facet of dominance so you want to come back here on the map you can see where i'm at i'm right here you'll see a pop up here and we're in the seclusion you can take a shortcut when you're coming through you come through the bloom and you could there's going to be a, like a little portal like that looks just like this you can take a shortcut to come right through there so what we're going to do i'm going to go right up here where it's showing us avoid these enemies blah 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 come over here and there we have it the chest the last one facet of dominance collect all prismatic aspects fragments and abilities we did it guys it was a long journey it takes a little bit to get these done but it's definitely going to be worth it so you can be able to build whatever you need to build let's go here so you can see all done every last one unlocked now and that is it hope you guys hope this in, hope this helped you guys out um you have a lot to do, but you stick it out, do it, follow the video, and you'll get everything done like we did. All right, guys. Until the next time, fam, I'll holla at y'all later. Deuces. Ah, natural life! Get it off me! Get it off me!